I'm going to be throwing away so much makeup. I'm so sad. Okay, what's up you guys? I know, I look a hot ass mess. I'm not wearing any makeup. It's too hot. It's like 90 degrees in my apartment and I'm dying. I probably should turn this fan off. Okay, sorry about that. I had to turn the fan off because it was making too much noise. Anyways, so if you click on this video, I'm assuming that you're interested in knowing what I'm throwing away. I've basically been on this whole like cleaner, non-toxic makeup hype. I downloaded two apps, which I will link down in the description box. One was Think Dirty, the other one is EWG. Basically, you download the apps, you can scan your beauty products, and it will let you know if it's toxic or not. Since then, I've basically realized that damn near all my go-to like favorite makeup is toxic. I'm going to be throwing away so much makeup. I'm so sad. So I have the apps here. And really quick, I'm just gonna kind of start naming some of the products just so you're aware. So the products are ranked from zero to nine. Zero, one, two, and three, I think, on Think Dirty is considered the green zone. So it'll give you a number and it'll be green in the background. Then they have a yellow zone and they have a red zone. So this is just some of the foundation products that I'm gonna be getting rid of. We have Milani's, which is rated five. The Infallible, I think it's also rated a five. My Kat Von D, I think this is this is a four. It's four on one app, I think it's five on the other one. My Fenty foundation, it says, I don't know where I found a three, but then I think I found a five on the other app. My Maybelline 24 hour, I love this. It's like the best drugstore foundation ever. I'm getting rid of it. It has parabens in it. A lot of Bath and Body Works products I've learned have parabens. A lot of like body washes and basically I think that's the easiest thing to get rid of. If you see something and it has parabens in it, just get rid of it. Um, parabens, just to kind of give you a little bit of info on that. It's just not good for you. My Tarte Shape Tape is rated an eight. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm so sad because that is like my favorite. Like, I love that product. I've been using it for years. It's like the only like concealer that I know I can count on and I'm gonna have to get rid of it. My Too Faced Better Than Sex, I love this mascara and it's rated an eight on the Think Dirty app. So I will be getting rid of that. My Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I'm going to be getting rid of this. This is also rated an eight on the Think Dirty app. My Tresemme um, Heat Protectant, you guys, that I use all the time. I use every time I do my hair. This has fragrance in it, and it also has this um, ingredient called DMDM, Hide and Toen. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's that's rated an eight. That is a formaldehyde releasing agent. Formal so what it says here, formaldehyde releasing agent, preservatives in a wide range of cosmetics. Formaldehyde is considered a group one carcinogen to humans by IARC, International Agency for Research on Cancer. So it's, it's a possible carcinogen basically. If you see anything, and I think that's a really easy, if you look at the ingredients and you see DMDM, whatever, high danaton or whatever, however you say it, get rid of it. If you see something methyl paraben, ethyl paraben, something paraben, get rid of it. Another one I think that to be linked with cancer is BHT. And I have a few products with that, I think. Okay, so this one is the Mega Cushion Foundation. I'm sorry if there's a glare, but this, you're not gonna be able to read the ingredients because it's super tiny. This has parabens in it. I'm gonna get rid of this, haven't even used it. It has quite a few parabens. Another thing that I want to make you guys aware of, when something says fragrance on it, it is said that it's basically a loophole for companies. So when it says fragrance, it can have a combination of up to 3,000 different chemicals in there, like whatever. There's 3,000 different chemicals that can go under that fragrance umbrella and it can be a carcinogen and the company doesn't even have to add it to the ingredients because it's 
part of the fragrance chemical makeup. So you want to try to stay away from products that say fragrance, unless it specifically says like fragrance from natural, naturally derived, whatever, something like it specifically says it's like something natural. It comes from nature. Even then they say it can irritate your skin and yada 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 but at least it's a little better it's more natural products don't really need fragrance you know that's more just for us talking about fragrance uh my favorite like bronzer ever my Too Faced chocolate soleil is also rated eight so i'm gonna have to get rid of that and find a more natural alternative i'm getting rid of this i don't remember why but i know i seen it on the app and it was not good i have a brand new bottle of this and the Fix Plus, it's also rated an 8 on the Think Dirty app. So sad because I love this shit. My NYX Micellar Water, it's basically almost done. I've been using this all the freaking time and um, this has BHT in it. So, okay. It's not going to, it's not going to zoom in. BHT, literally BHT in all capital letters. I think that's also like, I believe it said somewhere in one of those apps. It also, also has been like linked to cancer or something like that. So anything that says BHT, just get rid of it. I've been using this all the freaking time. It is what it is. I have like so many bath products, shampoos, conditioners. Even my Colgate toothpaste is like rated an eight on the app. My NYX powders, also gonna get rid of these. My Physicians Formula Highlighters, these are rated 8. My L'Oreal Infallible, these are also rated 8. Now these are the low ones. I think the matte one is rated a 5. It's a little less, but still. My LA Girl Foundations, also getting rid of these. I don't know what these are rated. I didn't write the rating on them. The NYX Pore Filler, it's an 8. Getting rid of that. My Banana Powder getting rid of this I don't remember what it was but bio oil you guys bio oil this I think was also rated eight bio oil like people always talk, oh it's so this it's good for your skin it's good for stretch marks and all like it's an eight no. the Maybelline fit me powder getting rid of that the Becca what is this called the shimmering skin perfecter this is rated eight so I'm getting rid of this and the Urban Decay setting powders too. These, I think these are all rated eight as well. Setting powders, setting sprays. The Laura Mercier setting powder, eight. So I am getting rid of this one. This one has a crap load of parabens in it. Like, I don't know, four or five different parabens. In addition to talc, talc, I think you guys already know, like how many times have you seen those commercials? about the lawsuit uh, against Johnson's and Johnson's for the talc and how it causes ovarian cancer for women. Talc is not good. We shouldn't be using products with talc. A lot of companies are now switching over and using, I don't know if it's Mika or Mica powder, but that's a better alternative. Now, if you have a Laura Mercier Glow setting powder, this one's a little bit better. It did, I did not find it on the app, but I did go on the EWG website and I was able to type in the ingredients and the ingredients weren't as bad. It didn't have any parabens, but it did have talc. Um, but so I will be keeping this one even though I know it's not good. I mean, I can't get rid of everything all of a sudden, right? And like, I need to hold on to some of my stuff. But I am getting rid of the original setting powder, which I'm so sad because there's still so much product in here, but it's not worth it. It's not worth my health. My antibacterial hand soap. I love this like soft soap. Like this is the refill. I used to keep the other ones in the bathroom. The ones with the pump and then I would just refill it or whatever. Just buy a new one, whatever. They're cheap. They're like a dollar. I think this is also an eight. Um, so what I did and this is what I use as my body wash now. The Dr. Is it Bronner? Dr. Bronner, I was gonna say Bonner. So, the Castile soap. This is what I'm using to wash my body. This is what I use to wash my hands. So I just put, I bought like a cute little hand soap pump thing, put some of this in there and some water and that's what I use to wash my hands. Now I have one in the bathroom, one in the kitchen because I wash my hands all the time. 
and I threw away the other ones and throwing this away basically. Also, degree. This has aluminum in it and it's antiperspirant. You don't want to use antiperspirant. You don't want to block that area down there. This is getting a little bit too personal, but if you don't want to know, I'm going to start talking about feminine products in a little bit. Yeah, don't. What was I going to say? Oh, you shouldn't be using this stuff. I. This is what I use, so these are the native deodorants. I do order these online. I usually get the pack, I think it's like a pack of five and it's like 20 something dollars. And then I'll always use like, they'll have like a discount code for I think 20% off or something. So I buy them in bulk and I've gone through quite a few. I love these. I will say that if you are used to using antiperspirants and you start using these deodorants, it's gonna take a while for your body to get used to it. Um, you're gonna feel sticky. It's gonna feel uncomfortable. It's not gonna work initially, to be honest. Like you have to give your body time to get used to this. They smell amazing. They smell so nice. Um, definitely, I would highly recommend those. I love them. If you don't want to order those online, you can go to like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, and they have natural deodorants there for like three ninety nine a pop. Toothpaste, natural toothpaste. Definitely just download those apps. You guys can like look for stuff. What I do like about the app, whenever you pull up a product, um, right here in the center, it will say our picks and it will give you like healthier alternatives for those kind of products, whatever that product is. And sometimes it has stuff and sometimes it doesn't. I did find this David's natural toothpaste. I don't know if you can see it, but that is the toothpaste that I am using now. It's rated a zero on the app. Oh, feminine products. So I was watching this like documentary on talk, like it was on like female beauty products and, and like feminine hygiene products or whatever. Basically that time of the month type of products. And it was talking about the whole like toxic shock syndrome, um, which I'm not gonna go in and start talking about that because I'm not a doctor or a scientist or none of that. So I don't really know. But basically, basically I just decided that I don't want to use cotton that has been treated with pesticides and chemicals and sh shove that up my hoo-ha. So um, I did go to Target and Target has a crap load of organic um, feminine hygiene products now. And so I picked up these and so this is the one thing that like if you guys aren't gonna switch anything, any any of your makeup for right now, that's fine. But when you go and buy your tampons and your pads, like just get these like organic, get the organic ones. Honestly, like this this big old bag of 42 pads was like $7. So I think this is like a better deal than the always anyways. Target always has sales. Also the seventh generation is another healthier option cleaner organic option if you use soap down in that area you're not supposed to put anything inside because it cleans itself but don't use like don't don't use any of that like those vagicil or summer's eve or any of that stuff you're not you shouldn't use any of that any using any of that anyways but if you do switch over to the dr bronner's um soap don't use something more natural that's not going to affect your body in a negative way at least for stuff like that i think like that is an opening in your body and like you're putting things in there and like definitely use something more clean and organic and whatever not toxic also your deodorant you have like a crap load of what is those what is, what is that called oh that's what it is lymph nodes lymph nodes in your underarms and you're blocking like you you're not letting your body do what it's supposed to do your body will do what it needs to do if you let it swap out your deodorant don't use antiperspirant just use a regular deodorant feminine hygiene products um, you can go to Target and buy the big bottle of Castile soap and use that for everything. They do have an unscented option if you don't want like lavender, they have lavender, rose, citrus, peppermint, they have all those options. But you can do the unscented and use that for everything. You can use it as shampoo even, body wash, do the Dr. Bronner's. If you can do the native deodorant, if not, 
TJ Maxx or uh, Ross Marshalls and do like a healthier deodorant, makeup, anything, lotion, body lotions, body washes, anything that says paraben, anything that says DM, DM, anything that says BHT, like those are really, like that's a really easy way for you to just start getting rid of stuff. And honestly, like we don't need all these products. It just creates clutter anyways. I'm gonna feel so much better about getting rid of a lot of this stuff. I'm not gonna go through and show you guys every single thing that I'm throwing away. I'm sorry I keep looking over. That's where I have the big pile of stuff that I'm getting rid of. Anyways, I feel like I'm blabbering on. Um, I hope that this video helps. I hope that this has woken you a little bit. And I really wanted to put this out here because I know a lot of my friends follow me and whoever follows me this is like I think this is great information let your friends know let your family know download those apps and I hope that this helps you guys I will be doing more videos definitely want to do a video showing you guys some of the healthier alternatives less toxic it's it's hard for me to find products that are like 100% clean plant-based but I have found a lot of healthier less toxic alternatives and so I will eventually be doing a video with that talks about all of that also makeup i have started switching over to cleaner makeup and so i will be hopefully doing a review or maybe like a full face using cleaner products so if that is something you guys are interested in, make sure that you do subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you feel like it has helped you a little bit make sure you like it and thank you guys for watching i'm sorry that's a mess but you know what what it is.